exalt thee. I will praise thy name, for thou have done wonderful things. Thy counsel of old and faithfulness and truth. This is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. Amen. Amen.
be good, but Lord, it's made. I'll rejoice and be glad in it. Join in with us. I know y'all know we can't do nothing until the Holy Ghost come. Amen? Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Y'all come in and have a good time this morning. Amen. Give God some praise today. Amen. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Amen. You have to give God some praise. Somebody, amen, went over to lay in the bed last night. You ought to give God some praise. Amen. Somebody didn't have a car to drive this morning. You ought to give God some praise. Amen. Because God has been better to us than we truly deserve. Amen. And we're going to praise him today. We're going to uplift him today because he's worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Scripture reading and our prayer by Minister Alexander. Amen. Our scripture reading this morning is coming from Psalms 27. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Yes. Whom shall I fear? Yes, Lord. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Yes, Lord. When the wicked, even my enemy and my foe, yes. came upon me to eat up my flesh, yes. they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Yes. Through walls should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Yes. One thing have I desire of the Lord, yes, yes. that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life and to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. The word of God for the people of God. I have read one through five. May the Lord add a blessing to his word. Let us pray. Our heavenly father, we come right now in the name of Jesus. We come, God, just to bless your name. We come, God, thanking you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for your love and kindness, Lord God. We thank you, God, for you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Oh, God, we ask right now that you just create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit. And Holy Spirit, we just welcome you right now in this place. We pray, God, that you just cut sin on the left and sin on the right. Lord, help renew our minds, oh God, and help us to be holy as you are holy, Lord God. Strengthen us where we're weak, Lord God, and build us up where we're torn down. 
Father, you said, ask and it shall be given. You said, seek and we shall find. Lord, you said, knock and the door shall be opened. So, Lord, open up our hearts, Lord God, that we may hear what the Spirit is going to say today. We pray, Lord God, for all the sick. We pray for the prison bound. Lord, and we pray that you give Sister Posey the rhema word, God, today to set this house that we, we may not want to sin but turn from our wicked ways. You said, eyes have not seen nor ears heard. Neither had it entered into the hearts of man the things that you have in store for us. And God, we know you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. There is nothing too hard for God. All we have to do is ask. Lord, we pray right now that you, Holy Spirit just come into this place and come into our heart. And Lord, if the ones that sick, Lord, we speak healing right now in the name of Jesus. Have your way in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
morning. Good morning. The announcements. Dear pastors and other church workers, this comes to notify you that the next meeting of the union number three will be held on Saturday, October 29th, fifth Saturday, starting at 10 a.m. This meeting will take place at the White Plains Baptist Church, Mountville, where Reverend Johnny L. Johnson Sr. Johnny L. Johnson Jr. serves as pastor. Sorry. Please arrange to send a delegation and registration to this very important meeting. Also, please plan for your delegation to include youth members of your congregation, as there will be special sessions devoted to them. We look forward to fellowshipping with you and your delegation at White Plains on Saturday, October 29th. Sincerely, Reverend O.T. Hill, moderator. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. We will be celebrating Family and Friends Day on the fourth Sunday, October 23rd of this month. This is from the Mount Calvary Baptist Church. This service will begin at 2.30 p.m. Pastor Courtney Mills of Mike's Creek Baptist Church, Gaffney, South Carolina, will deliver the gospel message. It is our plan to have a blessed time praising God and fellowshipping together and with love, and we would, we would love to have your presence. Yours in Christian love, Mount Calvary Baptist Church family, Deacon Melvin Bowler, Chairman, also Deacon Jerome Briggs. Amen. Amen. Fall Festival will be October 31st, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Woodruff Main Street. We can't wait to see you there. Amen. Amen. Continue your prayers for all of those that are on our healing list and all of the sick and shut in. And continue prayers for the ones that are on the battlefield. Amen. 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 Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Maybe our last time. Amen. 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 We don't know, so we have to serve him while we can. Amen. Amen. Welcome to each and every one of you. Happy birthday anniversary to those that are celebrating. Amen. Happy birthday to Sister Janice. Amen. 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 Happy birthday to Miss Ruth. Amen. I called up to wish her happy birthday, amen, and sound like she was having a mini party over there, amen, <laughs> amen, but happy birthday. Please keep those <clears throat> on your healing list and our prayers. Uh, again, we never know what somebody's going through, and we all are going through something, amen, amen, but those, amen, that are in need of a healing, amen, we ask you all to please keep uh, Miss Barbara Rice in your prayers, amen. I asked y'all to pray for a few months back, amen, and our missionary did something nice for her, amen, but she just got out the hospital on yesterday, amen. 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 amen, so please keep her in your prayer, amen. And also, amen, the sister-in-law, amen, I, I think Miss Elizabeth was her name, amen, she went home to be with the Lord, amen. Amen, so continue uh, keeping that family uplifted in your prayer. Also, uh, all other bereaved families, amen, continue keeping the Floyd family lifted up in your prayer. And all other families uh, who have experienced bereavement, amen. Me and Reverend Posey were talking, and I've known her family forever. Uh, Gaffney about like Woodruff, everybody know everybody. And uh, this morning I received a phone call from one of her cousins who's like a brother to me, amen, and one of their family members, amen, probably about 27, 28 years old. Uh, went home to be with the Lord. Amen. Amen. So continue keeping the Palmer and Little John family in your prayer. Amen. On next Sunday, again, we will have our Pink Sunday, uh, not just in a, uh, for breast cancer, but we also will recognize uh, all those who have uh, battled the cancer disease. Amen. 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 And I know it's a few in here. Uh, that have battled, amen, and I love when I'm able to talk to them and they tell me they went to the doctor and everything's still good. Amen. Let's me know that God is still in the healing business. Amen. 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 And if we can't get happy amen. when God is blessing somebody else, if amen. we can't get happy when God is healing somebody else, how can we expect God to heal us? Huh? 
Amen. I love it when, when God has healed somebody. Let's me know if I have to endure it, it's going to be all right. Amen. Again, amen, we have a special uh, guest with us today. Amen. She's a lady by I've, I've known all my life. Uh, I remember her beating on them drums years and years ago yeah. when I was a little boy. Amen. And I always tell people, it's two ladies that I'll put against anybody when it comes to beating the drums. One is uh, Miss Shante Jeffries. Boy, she can play. She know it. And the other one is this lady sitting behind me, this woman of God. Man, they can play. But our, our special guest today is Reverend Katina C. Posey of Cherokee County, South Carolina. She's the daughter of Ms. Darlene Byers Palmer and Mr. Tommy Lee Palmer. Reverend Posey was raised by her grandmother, the late Miss Virginia Byers. She's married to Mr. Freddie Posey Jr. And to their union, they have three beautiful children, Jazz, Jamarcus, and Omega. On Sunday, March 19th, at the Shady Grove Baptist Church in Gaffney, Reverend Posey received her license to preach the gospel. In 1999, under the leadership of the late Reverend Perry Posey Sr., she joined the Mount Sinai World Outreach Ministry, where Bishop Terry McCaskill Sr. is the pastor. She served in many areas throughout the ministry at Mount Sinai. And in August of 2008, Reverend Posey was blessed to serve as the youth minister of the Mice Creek Baptist Church in Gaffney. After that, she joined the Grace Community Church in Shelby, North Carolina. And Reverend Posey was ordained on Sunday, February the 17th, 2013, and became the assistant pastor. She's presently the assistant pastor of Grace Community Church in Spotmert, where her pastor is Dr. Joseph Sanders Parks. Also, amen, Reverend Posey served as interim pastor at Third Creek Baptist Church from October 19, 2014 to February 22, 2015. On Sunday, January 12, 2020, until October 23, 2020, Reverend Posey served as the interim pastor at the Mount Calvary Baptist Church in Cross Keys, making her the first woman in both churches' history to serve as interim pastor. Amen. Amen. Reverend Tr Posey truly believes it's, if it's of God, man can't stop it. But if it's not of God, it will stop itself. Amen. Amen. Again, as, after the choir blesses us with another selection, the next voice you will hear be, will be Reverend, I tell her, this is what everybody call her, Reverend Cantina Palmer Posey. Amen. 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 Thank you. 
everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, he's worthy to be praised. Somebody ought to tell God thank you this morning. I, 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 I don't know how you feel, but when the sister was singing, may be my last time. And see, before I came down here, your pastor and I both received an undisturbing phone call that we didn't want to receive this morning. And I received that call thinking it was a call concerning my dad's brother who is also in transition. And the young man that has transitioned on is our cousin, and so my family is being hit Thank double. And I got mixed emotions about everything. Thank you. Thank you. But I serve a God who is able. And think if the Lord been good to me. I didn't come down here to be cute. I didn't come down here to y'all, y'all ought to know me by now. This ain't my bad rodeo. And so since God has been better than you, to you than you have been to yourself, you are at least I act like he done done something for you. Amen. Amen. Giving God glory to your pastor and first lady, to all the ministers and deacon and deaconesses, to everyone, to my mother, mama, will you please stand? And every, that's my mama. Amen. That's my mama. That's my mama. Thank you, Pastor Surratt, for this opportunity to be here on this morning. To all of you and to Mother celebrating your 91st birthday, you're still looking good. Amen. 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 We got to learn how to celebrate people. Amen. I thank God for all of you. And, and as we said, keep our family in your prayers as the Lord's will is being done and stuff we cannot control. But there is a word from the Lord. Amen. Oh, how I love Jesus. Sing it all. Oh, how I love Jesus. Jesus. 
violations. See, sometimes you just got to go back. We got to go back. Big, we got to go back. Honey, ain't nothing wrong with Kurt Franklin and all those folks, but let's go back sometime. But honey, I ain't that old, but I know that's what got us where we are now. And young folks don't think it's ticky-tacky. And oh, honey, you just got to understand something, young folks. That if it wasn't for this song, those songs, we wouldn't be where we are right now. And honey, you got to go back every now and then. Quick, brother, quick, quick. It ain't got to be in C sharp and A minor and B flat. But honey, you can make your own tune. However, long as God getting the glory out of it, that's all that matters. Amen. Amen, somebody. In Galatians chapter number 6, verse number 9. Galatians chapter number 6 and verse 9. Help me, Jesus. Galatians chapter 6 and verse number 9. It's your custom to stand, stand as we give reverence to God's word. Galatians chapter 6. And verse 9. Good to see our sister Mormon here this morning. Amen, amen, and amen. And it says, let us listen to the words of the Lord. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season ye shall reap if you faint not. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to talk about this morning. You come too far to stop now. You come too far to stop now. My brothers and my sisters, have you ever been a place in your life that there seems like that the more you do, the more you go, the more you give? Some folks just ain't satisfied. The more you give in the church, the more you give outside of the church. And it still seems like your best just ain't good enough. But when we look at this text this morning, Paul here was challenging the Galatians to keep on doing good. And I understand that all of us setting in new prospect this morning, if the truth be told, all of us have said enough is enough. I'm tired of fake folks. I'm tired of wishy-washy folks. Every time they call, they got problems. But when I call, don't nobody want to hear me. I'm just tired of being tired. So before I cuss folks out, let me stay in my own house and do my own thing but because you know God it's something on the inside of you will tell you to keep on going Paul Paul had this challenging moment to keep doing good and trust God and he was telling the Galatians that no matter how it looks you got to keep going because there is a people that is watching you when you don't realize that people are watching you and new prospect God has been too good to you for you to want to throw in the towel based on what other folks have did said or done you come this poor you come this far not leaning on the dependency of man but leaning on the dependency of God do it get this, uh, discouraging yes do you feel like throwing in the towel yes do you feel like saying what's the point of keep coming down the road every Sunday after Sunday why do we have to keep on pushing ourselves one because we have to understand that we did not create us God created us and if God created us that means there is some good got to come out 
of us. And that's the reason why when you feel like you want to throw in the towel, you can't throw in the towel because one, your character is being put on spotlight and folks want to see all this God you sing about, all this God you praying about, all this God you shouting about. Can you be like a Timex watch and take a licking and keep on ticking? If the truth be told, we all done been there. I don't know about nobody in here, but when I read the scripture, uh, be not weary in well doing. See, the question is, what are you doing? Because if you ain't doing nothing, it don't apply to you. But when you're working for eternal life when you're working for the master even when it get hard even when it get tough even when folks just don't want to do right you cannot base what they're doing how you praise and worship god your worship ought not be predicated on what the pastor say or don't say because your worship is not unto man but it's unto god Nothing. And when it come down to 
to the nick grip. It's just like you turning on the light and all them birds running out the door. When it come up to the nick grip, you just like the birds. You running out the door. But when you can go through the hell, the murk, the mud, and the clay to tell people that I felt like giving up, but I heard God say, I have not seen and ears have not heard. You got to understand when, we, when he said, be not, be not weary in doing, but in due season. You shall reap if you thank not. You, 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 you got to look at this when it says, in, in due season. You got to understand what your season is. Uh, my grandma... She, uh, my grandma would, 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 would have my uncle to come two weeks before Good Friday. Uh-huh. And he would till the ground. Yeah. He would till it. Right. Then that next week he would come back and lay the rose. That's right. uh-huh. And mama would go out there and mama would go ahead and plant that corn and uh-huh. everything that needed for that season. Yeah. Yeah. Mama, mama would plant it. Yeah. And, and so it would it, be crazy for the farmer to go out there and till the ground now. Yeah. And put some corn in the ground because the ground is turning. What you saying, Posey? I'm saying some of us operate out of season and say it's God. And there's no fruit in it. There's no bearing in it. It it ain't God. It's you because he said in due season and you got to understand that the season that you are in just because we are in the fall somebody got a summer moment going on. A winter is on the way and somebody gonna have a springtime moment in the winter. Everybody ain't gonna flourish at the same time but you ought to know what season that you are in for God to get the glory. Timing and season. Timing and season. I remember years ago it was it was November. It was it was cold, but it wasn't cold. There was there was bees and stuff flying in in, in November. There was bees flying. In, in December, I don't know if your pastor remember, but I remember when I was in school and it was no, it was it was cold and everybody walking around there with shorts on. And, right. and, and I got up one morning deep to put some shorts on and grab that gal and ain't that you better go in there and put the clothes on. I said, well, Mama, it, 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 ain't, it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't cold. She said, Gal, it's trickery weather. And sometimes you got to understand that the that the enemy allows stuff and lets stuff look good. But it ain't good for you. You better know what season you in. You got to understand. That your season, your season, does fall. That's when the leaves start turning. They start falling off the branches. You got some stuff that the Lord is allowing to fall off of you. And can I help? somebody in here this morning is that when God allow people to start walking at your life quit trying to go get folks that God is trying to let go at your life it'll be crazy to take the trash at the door put it in the trash can and go back and pick the trash up and bring it back in the house some of y'all if you can leave mess alone and let God handle it you'll be alright That winter, that winter is when the snakes and the bears supposed to hibernate. But but even they are confused. Because now you see more bears out. Now, now, now we see, it ain't talking about the animals, I'm talking about folks in church. Uh, we, 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 we see, we see folks that's supposed to be sleeping, but they awake all time of the night. Can tell you everything about everybody, but can't tell nothing about themselves because they night watchers. Some of y'all know night watchers. Some of y'all know folks. They're trying to get you out your comfort zone. Some of y'all know folks that are challenging you because you still, listen, let me tell y'all something. Y'all got to be careful even how you tell folks the Lord is getting ready to bless you. Because just as soon 
as folks find out that God is getting ready to bless you out of all you done gone through and God is getting ready to bless you how do you find more player haters in the church because God done bless you that out there on the street and if I know that God has done more for me than man can do for me I'm not going to come in God's house with a closed mouth I'm going to wave my hand and give God my best praise because you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me and you see this all of a sudden them y'all don't don't get upset don't don't get mad don't 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 start tripping because you got to understand long as we are in this flesh and long as we are of this flesh we got to allow our flesh to die daily we got to understand that we got to have a communication line open with God every day not just when stuff happen we got to have that communication line open every day and what I like about the last part of this here chapter this text is because he said in due season you shall reap if you think not uh, I don't know about yeah, 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 y'all, 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 y'all remember when, 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 when Sky City and, and, and Kmart had the little we're playing, and you just go in and you put two dollars on it, no matter how much it was, and you pay that thing down once a week or every two weeks. I love when mama would put stuff on layaway huh? because mama would pay it huh? every now and then she would pay it and the lady would give her a receipt huh? and that the receipt it still had a balance due huh? and whenever she got that thing paid off huh? they went in the back huh? and got the merchandise huh? that she had done laid away huh? what you saying Posey huh? there is some praise that y'all been giving out to God huh? and had a laid it away huh? because the enemy should have killed you but the Lord didn't allow it to be so because huh? you came to new prospect this morning huh? with another praise huh? on the inside of your life huh? that's another down payment huh? on the low way huh? because we sing the song huh? I'm sending up timber every day huh? and if I'm working on a building huh? I'm paying off that building huh? because when I step to the chili gate of uh, Jordan huh, and I hear God say well done huh, thy good and faithful servant huh, that let me know that the debt huh, is paid in full I, 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 don't, I don't know about nobody here huh, in new prospect this morning huh, but I came to tell all of you this morning huh, that you come too far huh, you can't stop now huh, no matter what done happen in your life huh, no matter what's going on in your life huh, you come too far huh, you can't stop now huh, and when you realize huh, that the enemy set all kinds of traps for you huh, and the Lord allowed you huh, a way to escape huh, and I heard huh, the old folks sing the song, huh, serving the Lord, huh, a payoff at the while. Huh, in due season, huh, you shall reap huh, if you faint not. Huh, so new prospect, huh, I came by here huh, to tell what somebody huh, to be not weary huh, in your well doing, huh, but just keep on huh, holding on. Huh, yeah, keep on huh, giving God glory. Huh, yeah, keep on huh, looking to the hill. Huh, the wind coming to your help. Huh, and all your help huh, coming from the Lord. Huh, be not weary. Huh, the naysayers, huh, they ain't got a hell huh, or a hell to put you in. Huh, be not weary. Huh, or backbiters, huh, they ain't got a hell huh, or a hell to put you in. Ago, huh, somebody said, huh, I'm living huh, my best life. Huh, and guess what, y'all? Huh, Mama 91, huh, living the best life huh, she probably ever done live. Huh, but when you look back and wonder huh, how you made it over, huh, I made it huh, by the grace of God. Huh, I'm living huh, my best life. Huh, so when you see me huh, giving God praise, huh, I'm living. Huh, I'm in huh, my season. 
your reasonable service be not to fall to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And when God renew your mind, he'll renew your steps. And when God renew your steps, you'll walk a little better. When God renew your eyesight, you'll see a little better. But you prospect, can I tell you something? How much praise yeah, you got to give God when all hell done broke loose? Because right now, somebody is going through, through, and they done been through that. But I ain't going to be weary. I may be troubled in my heart, but the Bible says, let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God, believe also in me. You come too far. Live. 
and not to die. Yes. And when you look at how far you have come, don't you let nobody flame out your flame, flame, flame out your worship, flame out your fire. Because don't nobody know your season. Like the we used to sing the song, it's a new season, it's a new day, fresh on. See, 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 you got to be careful in what you're saying. Amen. Just because it's this deacon season don't mean it's mother season. Amen. Know your season. Yes, yes. And you prospect as a corporate body. Amen. The church got to know its season. Amen. From the head, because the anointing don't run feet up, it go head down. Amen. And when God bless the head in the season, Amen. you just got to stay connected to the body. Yes. 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 Because if he's not bearing spiritual fruit, the head can't bear spiritual fruit. But the more fertilizer folks keep putting on him, the stronger God don't make him. And the stronger God make him, the stronger God don't make you. Be not weary. In due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Some of y'all quit fainting over small stuff and get some backbone. Stand strong. Quit fainting because folks don't like you. Just lean with it. Rock with it and get back in place. Amen. Learn how to start leaning. And when you know that God done made you who you are, no weapon. Formed against you, shall prosper. Amen. As we stand all over this house this morning. Amen. There are those that may be watching these services, Facebook Live, and you felt like giving up. Let me tell you that we serve a God who is able yes. to do exceedingly abundantly. Yes. All that we could ask the thing. So if you're in Facebook land and you just need prayer, reach out to this church. You need leadership. Reach out to this church. Whatever you stand in the need of, reach out to this church. And they will welcome you with open arms. To those of you that are in here live, first, you want to repent, dedicate your life, now is the time. You want to come and just tell God I'm sorry for doubting you, because we all have doubted it. We all have felt like giving up. We all been weary. Because none of us wake up every morning with our mind on Jesus. But we thank God for who he is. Yes, yes. yes. As we pray for those on the healing list and those that are going through bereavement, God let us continue to pray for our world as a whole. Amen. And for churches everywhere. Yes. Because we all are standing in the need. Our prayer. Yes, yes. Eternal God, our Father, we come now and say, Lord, we thank you for all good and perfect gifts. Thank you, God. God, we thank you for who you are. We thank you, God, because we know without you, we would be like a ship without a sail. Yes. God, we thank you because we know through it all, we can lean and depend on you. God, we pray now in the mighty name of Jesus. That that person, that young man, a young woman that is watching these services, yes. God, their back is up against the wall. But God, we pray that you will break their hearts to let them know that it's not too late, wherever they are, to come to know you. God, we pray.
pray right now for New Prospect Church family. We thank you, God, for their leader, Pastor and Lady Surrett. God, we pray for their children. God, we pray that you keep a hedge of protection around them. God, we pray for the leadership as a whole. That God, that when times get tough, they won't give up. When times get hard, they don't want to throw in the time. But they will encourage one another through prayer to say that we can get through this together. Now, God, for that family that is going through bereavement right now, touch their broken heart. Strengthen them even the now. For that family that is seeing loved ones transition and those that are on their bad side of affliction, God, you said by your stripes we are healed. Yes, yes. And God, we know that all sickness is not unto death. But God, we won't be selfish to realize that it is appointed unto all of us to leave this world. But God, I pray that we get our business fixed now. Yes, yes. God, I pray that we will forgive not. Yes. I pray that we will love not. Yes. God, I pray that we will put aside foolishness not. Yes. That the house of God will be what you call it to be, a house of prayer, praise, and worship. Yes. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That you will blow a wind and you prosper yes. and you prospect like never before. Yes. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. That your anointing will fall and new prospect yes, like God. never yes, before. God. Yes, God. God, I pray right now, right now that God. new prospect will not lead to their own understanding. Yes. But always acknowledging yes, you. Yes. And you will. Yes, God. Direct their God, we love you. And we thank you. Thank you, God. For what you have done. Yes, yes. And all you're getting ready to do. Thank you, God. For the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 It's amazing grace. God. wonderful time this morning. Amen. Amen. We thank, we thank God for the message and the messenger. Amen. 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 The spirit of the Lord was truly in this place. Amen. For we can do nothing without him. Amen. Amen. And if you didn't get it today, amen, you may better go home and check yourself. Huh? Amen. The choir sung beautifully. Amen. And God used Reverend Posey in a magnificent way. Amen. Again, we thank you, sirs and ma'ams, for coming to our annual family and friends day. Amen. We thank God for Minister Alexander. Amen. Who spearheads that every year. Amen. And we thank God for you. Amen. Reverend Posey will come and dismiss us in her own way. Let us stand as we prepare to go 
that God will continue to bless you on this day. The Reverend Surratt, thank you for this opportunity. The Reverend Surratt, as he said, I've been knowing him all his life. And practically, we're a family. Amen. Amen. My youngest son and Reverend Surratt are, 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 are cousins. And we thank God that, that the Lord has allowed him to bless you all. Amen. And that you all are treating them wonderfully well. Amen. Amen. Thank you again, Mama, for your traveling with me and Sister Mormon for coming. Our Father and our God, we pray now, God, that you give us traveling mercies to our various destinations. God, we pray that as we go out throughout this day, that we'll continue to allow our light to shine. And we'll continue, God, to give you glory in all things. But most of all, God, let us not be weary. But let us look back to see how far you have brought us. Yes, yes. And God will be so careful. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling. And present us faultless before the throne of glory. Your Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. And we sing our man threefold. Oh.